Welcome to this module on importance of traditional diets. Food consumption and culture is one of the most important factors associated with unique culture of ethnic groups. Food consumption is a basic activity contributing to the survival of human beings as such. Understanding the food and culture creates a better understanding and a more intimate relationship that exists among countries and population groups. The word traditional comes from a Latin verb which means trader that transfers doctrines, customs from one generation to another. Traditional foods are related and refer to local foods and artisan foods referring to specific ingredients, location of the production and the know-how of the process. It could be the food made from a grandmother or by the native people to the of the country and passed through generation. Now, the objective of this module is to enable the learners to understand the importance of traditional foods in, and its role in diet and health and also compile the richness of the traditional diets to maintain health and prevent diseases. The food culture and tradition and is defined as a system of processing and cooking foods combined with food consumption activity of the population and the cultural cuisine as the culturally elaborate and is transmitted body of food related practices of any given culture. The components of the food culture include such activities as the different methods of obtaining the foods processing and preparation of the raw materials, cooking techniques, setting dishes, tables and also includes the eating habits. Traditional foods are used to carry an image of foods tasting good and perceived good for health as related to natural producers and products and no chemical modifications no additives or bad for health as related to high fat content and microbial contaminants. A traditional food product is a product frequently consumed and associated with specific celebrations and festival occasions and or seasons normally transmitted from one generation to another made accurately in a specific way according to the gastronomic heritage with little or no processing and known because of sensory properties and are always associated with certain local area or a region or a country. The traditional ingredients when we look are the raw materials, the species or varieties or the primary products either alone or an, as an ingredient that has been used in identification of geographical areas and reminds its use today and its characteristics are in accordance with the current specification of region or a country. Now, when we look into the health qualities of the traditional diets that is practiced, the traditional foods apart from being vehicles of culture could also possess health qualities since tradition supports foods which are palatable and healthy always. Traditional fruit producers have been recommended to extend their skills in modern production techniques, management and marketing as well as in promoting the aspects of their traditional products related to nutritional and health issues as well. Traditionally, a food product not only has to contain traditional ingredients but also has to be processed in a traditional way according to the traditional recipe's requirement. The traditional food products tend to be basic, natural and pure and often in the sense that has little or no processing or no manipulation has occurred after the process of production too. Traditional vegetables are gathered from both cultivated and uncultivated lands and the knowledge about these traditional vegetables is passed from one generation to another as part of indigenous knowledge system of the community. The traditional foods lie in their high nutritional value on their ability to thrive even under adverse conditions. The United Nations through their international workshop on traditional knowledge emphasized that traditional food knowledge should continuously that the traditional food knowledge should continuously be retained for 
future generations as they will carry out the profound spiritual and identity for self or as well other people too now when we look into the traditional diets and religions religions also have great importance talking about traditional foods prohibited foods that are numerous in each religion special dishes at the same time corresponding to an event of religious calendars festivals occasions it is one of the main factors determining the food avoidance taboos and special regulations in particular area with respect to meals the rejection of specific foods derives from human cultures many of which were established for unknown reasons in the past and gains further support until the present from the religious sanctions several religions impose some food restrictions for example prohibition of pork and not ritually slaughtered meat in judaism and islam and pork and beef in hinduism and buddhism except for christianity which has no food taboos religious food prescriptions are far easier to adopt than to discard because once a ban is adopted edit tends to be reinforced by strong feelings of disgust although the dietary laws imposed by the religion may be rather very strict the amount of people following them is usually substantial regional foods are always linked in some way to origins and tradition implies that the producer of regional foods are involved in providing and communicating the intangible attributes of heritage tradition authenticity in their products offering regional cuisines for the majority of the discussions were grounded in the historical association with the consumer from lower socio economic and income groupings it reflects that the past cultural isolation and regional cooking is now a proud part of the cultural identity frequently reserved for festival occasions but some of the regional foods now eaten frequently are of relatively recent origin for example indian social and cultural practices have conventionally been based on religion in india food is generally treated as treated as a divine and all indian ancient scriptures and religious texts encourage greater and greater contribution and care for food preparation storage food handling and habit among population on always food is considered as divine the most characteristic and ancient element of greek cuisine is olive oil which is frequently uh, used in all dishes the basic grain in greece is wheat though barley is also grown in the place the diet of north india is probably the best balanced in the whole country from the nutritional point of view as it contains plenty of meat milk vegetables and fat since cooking fat plays also an important role in the north indian food and also similarly in the south indian foods too where we have a combination of cereals pulses vegetables fruits all grown locally with good method of cooking the indigenous and traditional food cultures inevitably have a strong locality connections they are of particular interest in regard to regional food culture and health because they represent the longest period of history of about 1 lakh 50000 years or so for all our species that exist and also some which are extinct and now when we look into the trend transition in the traditional diet is happening over generations because of the cultural shifting reflection and connections and innovations that happen in the food consumption patterns among the population in possibly advantageous localities some communities have gained health advantage and in others in other way too in relation to their food supply communities can increasingly take advantage of production processing transport and communication information and health technologies to make these outcomes more likely food systems that confer health advantage will themselves be characterized by adequacy and variety to allow for the full range of essential nutrients to be obtained for an omnivorous human species 
food and nutritional policy support regional food culture through the food based dietary guidelines fbdg approach developed by the world health organization and the food and agricultural organization which always encourages local foods and food system approaches to health policies indigenous and traditional foods and food systems are always disappearing nowadays however there may be a significant loss and threat to future person personal health and security the traditional food product is a representation of a group it belongs to a defined space and it is part of a culture that implies the cooperation of the individual operating in that territory or the community in order to be traditional a product must be linked to a territory and it must also be part of a set of traditions which are practiced and necessarily ensure its continuity over time the traditional cuisine is one of the inherited expression which has built the territory through time behind each recipe there is a hidden knowledge about perfect mixtures of the ingredients its doneness and the combination of ingredients used quality among others that have been passed from one generation to another creating a unique hallmark in the food of a place and sense of belongingness to the territory or to the part and the community the traditional food means the proven usage in the community market for a time period showing the transmission between generations the time period should be the one generally ascribed as one human generation for at least 25 years recently a definition of a traditional food has been developed through the workshop of euro network of excellence this is an elaborate definition which includes statements and ingredients traditional composition and traditional type of production and or processing in europe the only formal definition found for traditional food products comes from the italian ministry of agriculture that traditional food product is described as an agri food product whose method of processing storage and ripening are considered with time according to uniform and constant use of the local resources and now when we look into the innovations that has happened in the traditional foods and diets in order to better understand and predict the likelihood of success or failure of different innovations in traditional foods it is crucial to know meaning of the word traditional has in consumer mind and what value they relate to this concept traditional food products were perceived in general as simple products with lower complexity tradition was well accepted in cultural and gastronomic related contexts where it was perceived as something to keep and protect for subsequent generations traditional food is a food of a specific feature or combination of features which distinguishes it clearly from other similar product of the same category in terms of the use of traditional ingredients raw materials or the primary products or even the traditional composition or traditional type of production or the processing method that it undergoes for production traditional foods may be noted that by their very nature food products have a land based geographical origin which would suggest always the people readily make strong associations between certain foods and geographical locations the traditional compositions are uniquely identifiable in terms of the ingredients that was first established prior to the second world war and passed down through generations by either oral or other other means taking into account that eases where composition was abundant or a time then reinstated and when necessary is differentiated from the composition defined by the generally recognized characteristics of the wider food groups to which the product belongs to the traditional type of production and processing has been transmitted from one generation to another through oral traditions and practice by the communities the traditional knowledge in other communities traditional knowledge is body of knowledge accrued within a group of people across generations of close contact with nature 
it is a local and cumulative body of knowledge practices and beliefs held by the local population it has been applied prior to the second world war and remains in use taking into account cases where application was abandoned for time and the, then reinstated despite its adjustment to binding rules from nation or european food hygiene regulations or the incorporation of technological progress under the condition that the production or the processing remains in line with the methods used originally and that the food intrinsic features such as its physical chemical microbiological and organoleptic features are maintained in the traditional case traditional foods the edible plants are used as vegetables are a part of traditional production systems and local knowledge the process of delocalization is happening for the food system in the 20th century and has weakened the traditional territorial and symbolic links that has happened over generations for foods and places the inference is that the concept of regionality in foods may no longer be important or attractive to the modern food consumer who is faced with such a wide array of exotic and international products from the western countries all year around an opposing view is taken by the driver however he describes resurgence in the interest in traditional regional dishes in the united kingdom which have perhaps reflects the symbolic importance that particular foods have in its culture the traditional food products are the food products of which the key production steps are performed in certain areas either at national regional or local level which are authentic sometimes in their recipe mix of ingredients the origin of their raw materials and the production process which are now commercially available for about 50 years are part of the gastronomic heritage the traditional foods are seen as midpoint of culture in identity which belongs to a specific society or ethnic groups and some elements of food preparation and consumption are always the visible badges of the identity of the population the preparation process and consumption behavior is always a combination and intersection of food and culture of the population groups the preparation and consumption food of food means that the identity of a community or age or ethnicity or gender or occupation or religion some argue preparation and consumption closely are related to culture of foods the tools techniques and ingredients for which food is prepared its customs and there is one best way to understand a culture and ethnic diversity and identity one of the most efficient ways to get the preliminary insights into the concept underlining this traditional food product as well as innovation from the consumer's point of view is by means of qualitative research techniques especially by focus group discussions and focus group discussions are methods by which a small number of individuals are selected in order to obtain information about their reaction to products and their concepts traditional cuisines bring a past full of perspectives stimuli where smell taste sound color texture are created for a stronger and delightful connection with the cultural identity however the global context influences the bearers of such transformation of their cultural practices and the ideal scenario is a transformation without altering the essence that awakes the mentioned connection the traditional food product concept includes aspects related to health to naturalness to homemade to artisan made on the farm without industrial handling or commerciality and without additives and traditional foods were usually popularized from the aspect of tourist attractions and territorial brands for a tourist development and promoted in terms of healthy eating behaviors among the population groups and from this perspective of community based tourism 
certain elements of local culture and resources are not only attractive tourists but can simultaneously be used as to enhance the rescue of local culture and heritage the traditional diets can be described as nutrient rich and calorie limited and many wild foods are higher in nutrient content than similarly cultivated foods of that population groups and now as a conclusion to this module on importance of traditional diets traditional food ways are based on intimated and spiritual connection to the land and entail a reciprocal relationship that must be actively maintained through generations several research works have been indicated to find that the indigenous knowledge of the traditional diets is diminishing in communities the loss of indigenous knowledge results in reduced consumption of the traditional foods which contributes to lack of the diet diversity this ultimately translates into food insecurity and other micronutrient deficiencies especially among the vulnerable communities and different factors have been contributed to the loss of knowledge about traditional foods and these include the introduction of new and western foods changes in our lifestyle pattern the stigma associated with the use of traditional foods and the habitat loss the introduction of the western foods have been cited as one of the important cause for the loss of knowledge on the traditional diets hence the population groups especially the younger generation has to be taught on the importance and goodness of the traditional diets in maintaining health and thereby prevention of many diet related disorders among the population retaining and relearning the traditional diets and habits will pave way for healthy generations by the judicious use of all the available local resources and thank you